It's a green radio. We don't see a lot of green anymore. You used to see green products like radios and cars, but not for quite a while now. People don't seem to like green. Who was the last U.S. presidential candidate to use the color green for their campaign's branding? This guy. And you've got to go way back to 1976 and 1980 for this green branding. And you know how that worked out. Well, and if you don't, I'll just tell you, not good. Was the color green to blame? Well, absolutely no one will say it out loud. Hardly anyone even thinks it. But I do, and I'll say it. Yes, green was to blame. But personally, I love green. I've operated a record label for decades, and the color I've always used in its branding is the color green. Maybe that's why you've never heard of it. And when I get a chance to buy a green radio for my collection, I'm there. My most valuable green radio is this one. Ooh, the Sony TR55. This one only came in green. Probably my least valuable green radio is the model we are looking at today, this little Pacific two-transistor boys radio. Too modest and unassuming to even have a model number. Something about this radio reminds me of a Fujitone I have, and I think I have this radio somewhere as an angel. You may have it with any number of names on it. If so, please share that info in the comments below. This one appears to be missing the antenna jack, or more likely just the nut off the top of it. A lot of these boys' radios came with screw-in antenna rods to help them snag radio stations. With just two transistors, they needed all the help they could get. Inside is pretty impressive. It looks like a well-planned and well-built little radio. The styling of this little Pacific radio owes much to the most influential of all transistor radios, the Sony TR610. In the wake of that Sony's success, many other makers copied it, some more or less ripping off the Sony design, some using it as a springboard for their own styling touches. This Pacific is shorter than that Sony, and as you can see, the speaker grille has been squared off, and there is some nice detailing around the dial window. A very pleasing look, I think. It came with this thin vinyl case. I don't keep this radio or any other radio I have in any case that's made of vinyl, for reasons I've covered elsewhere in other videos. Still, I can't throw this case out, because, well, I just can't. So, I keep it separate in a little plastic bag and let time take its toll. It's already a little sticky. At some point, I expect it to be a gummy mess that I can't even wash off my hands. Even then, I'll probably just put it in another plastic bag and keep it. Green, the color of choice for politicians who don't get re-elected, for cars you will never buy, for companies you never heard of, and the official color of this, our most drunken holiday. <laughs>